got several new styles for uh, Prop VOS 3 um, for cross cards. Um, so first up is going to be uh, my uh, my Kylo Ren on stable. This is the one I run at events. So with the new movie coming out and OS 3 releasing soon, um, I put this together and I included a lot of the new features with OS 3. So this is stuff that uh, hasn't been uh, available before. Um, so on admission, this has a variation of power up. So the color change fork had a power up effect. Um, this has a variation on it with a transition. Um, this, uh, one of the bigger new things in this unstable blade is it has a uh, responsive blade. So based on how fast you swing the blade, the blade will actually get brighter and the unstable speed will pick up. So if you just move it a little bit, hopefully the camera's picking it up, it gets a little bit brighter. So now this is more subdued than the white blade. So I do have the showcase tiles. They have a white blade version and then a contrast color version. This stays red, but what we do is we actually just increase the intensity. Um, so you get a little bit brighter swing and a little bit quicker speed as you swing it. Um, so because I like to stay canon for events, this one's it's more subdued than the other ones. If you like to really see the big bright swing, um, there are other versions of that. Um, and then in addition, this also has transition effects, so it has the power. It's also got uh, a, uh, a quick bright flash, um, so for beginning lockup. So when you do lockup, you're going to get a bright white flash of the blade. You'll get localized lockup, and then after you release lockup, you'll get a reestablishing of the blade. So I can show that. So that has that quick flash, the so quick flash of the entire blade, localized lockup, and then a reestablish. And then for drag, similarly, it's going to have a quick flash of the tip, and then the drag effect, and then it'll actually fade out. So instead of just turning off, the drag effect now has a fade out on it. And then for OS3, there's also now a stab effect. So the stab effect has an animation on it. So when I do a thrust and clash, there'll be a wipe in of the effect, and then a fade out. So instead of just turning on, you'll actually see it wipe in and then it fades out. Um, so now this being uh, just in red, uh, with OS3 there is also a default color wheel. So this doesn't have color change built into it, it's going to use the default color wheel. Um, so if you did happen to want to change the color for any reason, um, you can do that. So I'll show that. So going into the color change mode, and then it's a rotation of the blade uh, hilt. So as you rotate the hilt, It'll go through all the colors, and this will keep the unstable effects as I go through it. And you can get to any color you'd like. And do a green, and then you can lock it in. And then again, you get all the effects. And then if you want to change it again. Get back around to a red, so there's a yellow, orange, and red. And it's, it's pretty, you can fine tune it pretty well. It's, so that's a little more of an orange red, but that's available. So uh, right now it's just in red because I'm building this for the premiere. Um, but because you have the color wheel, you could actually go in and modify it um, with OS3 so you could pick a different color. Um, so that's the new, I'm calling this my uh, FET263 uh, Kylo Ren style, um, and it's available up on the library.